Thank you very much. I love math. Like, I really, really love math. It's been a part of my life for pretty much as long as I can remember. I'm planning on pursuing it as a career. I study it right now. And frankly, I care about math a lot, both its beauty and its utility. And I want other people to care about it as much as I do. And that's really why I'm here today, because I'm really angry about the math education system that we have here in this country, because it doesn't serve that purpose at all. Why would I be angry? I mean, right now, even here today, we've heard people talk about the amazing technology and movements that are going on in education. And I personally have gotten to see some of the many, many very talented math teachers that are out there who don't get nearly the recognition they deserve. But for me, that wasn't enough. I feel personally betrayed by the math education system in this country because for me, I was never told until I got to college what it meant to be good at math. Now, when, I guess, I mean, even since I was in preschool, so like three years ago, um, I was told that I was good at math. And I was told that because I exhibited a particular set of traits, speed and accuracy. I memorized things quickly. I computed things quickly. I applied things quickly, and I turned in my problem sets and quizzes and tests quickly, and I got it right. I got the high scores, right? And that's, that's what's important right now in our math education system. That's what my peers admired me for, or hated me for, I don't know. Um, it's what my teachers admired me for. It's what everyone around me and every number around me was telling me was good. And I fell in love with mathematics somewhere along the lines there, and I decided, this is great. I'm good at math, and I like math. I'm going to pursue math as a career. And so I came to Harvey Mudd College, and I discovered that math is a lot harder than it ever was before. <laughs> because there's a secret that mathematics isn't about computation. It's about problem solving. And I didn't really have as much experience as I would have liked doing problem solving. And I got really confused and flustered because I started doing problem sets and quizzes and tests where I didn't know what formula I was supposed to apply anymore. I was sure I had somehow just missed that part of the lecture where I was supposed to know exactly how to do this particular problem. I started struggling. I started not succeeding all the time. In fact, occasionally failing very beautifully and dramatically. And I quickly became convinced that that must mean that I am not good at math because I'm not fast anymore, I'm not accurate anymore. Maybe this isn't for me. And that's why I'm angry. I'm angry because that convinced me almost to completely abandon mathematics, something that I love so dearly. And I'm sure that it convinces millions of people around this country every year not to pursue mathematics. So when we talk about math in the system of education that we have right now, when we talk about this fast computation, that's, in my view, exactly the opposite of what real problem solving is about. Real problem solving is about patient failure, when you think about it. And what do I mean by that? Well, when I see myself solving problems now, because I never seem to remember the right formula from class, if I'm faced with a problem, I tend to try and figure out, okay, what can I do to solve this? And I try something. And chances are it fails beautifully. Big display of failure just right there on my page. And I take a look at what went wrong. And I see, okay, this part could have gone a little bit better. Maybe if I had done this small thing instead. And then I try again. That's productive failure. And productive failure is a thing that we use every day. It's a thing that is used in problem solving, in mathematics, in innovation in general, productive failure. It's how we solve the greatest problems of our time, and it's how we approach day-to-day -day life. But strangely, there's nowhere in math education, or as far as I can see, really in the education system in general, where people are told that that's anything but a bad thing. Productive failure. It's weird, too, because we've known for centuries that productive failure is key. History remembers people who have had enormous achievements, enormous problems solved over the course of years or centuries. Stacked up work, 
of tons of people. That's, I mean, in mathematics, we talk about that all the time. People don't remember the problems that got solved quickly, the small problems. I have this bizarre dream of what it might have been like when I was a kid, <laughs> a kid, um, if I had actually had a classroom environment that wasn't just about rewarding success. Say, my classmates and I were put in a room with just no front of the classroom, just tables, with maybe a teacher there, maybe some tutors, and we were given a problem just outside our scope of knowledge and told, go. And the expectation at the end of the class wasn't that we were gonna hand back a sheet of paper with the solution, or even with showing our work, showing the correct method by which that solution could be obtained. The goal was to actually show your work. You were rewarded based on the fact that we provided, you know, a description of what exactly we tried first, what went wrong, who we talked to, what we asked, what we tried next. Because that's really where problem solving is happening. I'm not talking about an overhaul of the system here. I'm not talking about changing all of mathematics education as we know it. I'm talking about just an hour a week, maybe, to reverse the sense that only quick, accurate success is actual success. All right, here I am right now, 20 years old, standing in front of a room full of people I don't know, trying to tell you that I know how to fix some part of math education. Let's be honest, I don't know if what I say here today is gonna have an effect on what you do in the next week, or what you think about in the next hour. But I'm ready to be up here anyway, because I think this is a problem that we shouldn't wait until someone else knows how to solve. I think the time has come and gone to wait for solutions, and it's time to productively fail. So I wanna leave you with a question. Is there some issue that you care about, something that you care about as much as I care about math education in this country, that you'd like to see fixed? And if so, would you be willing to stand up here today and talk about it too? Thank you.